Welcome to Windows 10, Working with Start Menu Tiles. When working with Start Menu Tiles, it works best if you have your Start Menu in full screen mode. To do this, click on the Windows icon to open the Start Menu. Click on the Settings icon, which looks like a gear. Type Start in the search field. And from the drop-down list, choose Start Settings. Make sure that the Use Start Full Screen button is in the Off position. You might think of the Start screen as your personal application viewing and launching area. You choose what's in there for your convenience. For example, you put the Weather app in a large tile so you can see the weather at a glance. You add the Mail app so you can open your mail with a single click of your mouse. Tiles are organized in groups and these groups can be named. We'll start by creating a group of tiles and naming this group Useful Tools. We'll then add the following tiles to this group. Calculator, Mail, Microsoft Store, and under Windows System, we will add Control Panel and File Explorer. Begin by clicking on the Windows icon to open the Start menu. Right-click on the Calculator application and choose Pin to Start. Scroll down until you find Mail. Right-click on the application and choose Pin to Start. We'll follow the same steps for Microsoft Store. Some items in your Start menu have a number of sub-items grouped under them. To see them, you need to click on the down arrow on the right. Control Panel and File Explorer are examples of sub-items that are grouped under Windows System. Here's Windows System and there's the down arrow. Right-click on Control Panel and Pin to Start. Right-click on File Explorer and Pin to Start. Newly pinned tiles will be automatically grouped. If you don't name the group, it will be called Name Group, reminding you to give it a name. Let's give it the name Useful Tools. Once you've named the group, just hit your Enter key on your keyboard. You can reposition a group. Let's reposition Useful Tools to the very top of our screen. So click on the name of your group and drag it upward and drop it. <coughs> so now we decide that we don't use any of the games in the games group. You can unpin the, the games individually by right-clicking and choosing Unpin from Start, or you can delete the entire group. We're going to delete the entire group. Right-click on the name of your group and choose Unpin from Start. Please note that deleting 
that group does not delete the game applications. They're still available in the alphabetical listings. Tiles can be dragged and dropped between groups. Let's move Calculator from the Useful Tools group to the Date, News, and Weather group. Drag and drop the calculator tile underneath the News icon, being careful to drop the tile within the new group's boundary. See how that faint line shows? If you dropped it below, it would create a new group. You can create a folder within a group of tiles by dragging a tile on top of another tile within the group. If you don't name the folder, it will be called Name Folder. I'll show you an example of this. Let's choose Calculator. We'll put it up with Mail 2 on the top of it. It has created a folder now underneath Useful Tools. We have to name the folder. Uh, let's see. We'll call it Mail and calculator. This acts like a, to a toggle switch, this up arrow. If you click on it, it brings these up into a sub folder under useful tools. And here's the name of our subfolder within the smaller group. It's still all of a part of useful tools. It's just a subgroup of tiles within that. Again, if you click it, it will open it and make it large, like a toggle switch. Tiles can be resized. There are four choices in sizing tiles. Small, medium, large, and wide. Let's scroll down and we'll enlarge the weather. Right click on it, go to resize. Let's try it small. Very small, much too small to be of use. Right click on it, resize it. And let's choose large. It gives you much more information at a glance. This is an example of a wide tile. You may want to keep it as a large tile. That gives you the most information. If a live tile, such as these, the news and the weather, they're called live because they're constantly in motion. If a live tile is annoying, you can turn it off by right-clicking on it. For instance, the news. Go to More and turn Live Tile off. It makes it into just a plain tile without the movement. As you can see, there are other choices offered in that More menu, one of which is pinning to the taskbar. To learn more about the taskbar, check out our video, Windows 10 Taskbar. 
If your screen becomes filled with groups of tiles, there is a way to resize your layout. Place your mouse at the far right of the layout until the cursor becomes a double-edged arrow. Hold down your cursor and drag the layout to the right. There's also a control at the top. So you can move it down or up. Okay, this ends our session on working with tiles. Thanks for watching.